Hey guys, it's Jessica from Cupcakes, Rings, and Glittery Things. Two warnings before I resume this video. My throat has been going up and down all day. I'm still battling the laryngitis. But I'm going to be clearing my throat to an extensive amount that's going to annoy some of you because it's annoying me how much I'm doing it. Um, my sinuses are also coming into play a bit here. So I just want to prepare you for the fact that... I'm going to be clearing my throat a lot, and I sound nasally, and my voice is going to go up and down, and I might get a little squeaky, and I might get a little deep and manly, so bear with me. I'm sorry. I'm just really excited. I have a bunch of shoes, and I'm trying to get at least one or two more pairs to you this week before the weekend, um, and then I'll do the rest next week, but I, I just, I love these shoes. I'm, I'm beyond thrilled out of my mind. Okay, seriously, there's like one hair. And it's like longer than the rest of my hair and it just like keeps hitting me here. Not that you can see it because it's one hair. So these shoes, <sighs> we're just going to get right into it. Hearts of Darkness by Cree Decor. I'm obsessed with their boxes. I'm, I don't know. Some people are really obsessed with Jeffrey Campbell boxes. I think they're the same thing. Though these are the same. I just love them because they're so pink and shiny and girly on the outside. And then on the inside, if I can open this, they're striped. It's just very exciting to me. I love black and white stripe against like a girly pale pink. I'm done. Uh, so this is about the Cree Decor Warrior Sandal. This is an all vegan line. Everything that I've tried on by this company, so, so comfortable, so well made with a woman's foot in mind, and um, I'm really grateful to the company for coming out with very trendy, pretty, feminine shoes. Now, prior to my veganizing my closet, I had tons of gladiators. Yes, they were all leather, so naturally I had to get rid of them. I had been debating purchasing these shoes for quite a while. I've been like, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. It's the story of my life, yes, no. Um, it came down to two pairs left at Amazon and I was like gotta buy it when we get to the number two it's very serious it gets quite urgent and I had the money so I figured I'd do it now these cutie cutes right here retailed at 120 I've looked at these for I think over a year I believe it was last spring or the following spring um, or the earlier spring they came out but they were 120 originally. I got them for $29.32 on Amazon. You can't beat that. You just can't. Any other stores that have these left, not this cheap for certain. So what I like about this shoe, <clears throat> first and foremost, is that it's a gladiator style. I love, love, love leopard print. I am one of those girls. I love it. I just think it's great. Um, but what makes this shoe so special, in my opinion, is that, you know, you've got your very neutral, simple silhouette, and then you have this gorgeous pop of emerald green in the back, and this green is just so pretty. It's just such a perfect green. I love green. I love, love, love green. Um, so it's just such a rich emerald green. It really, it, it truly, it's just beautiful. So the shoe is made of three different textures. You have canvas, which is your leopard area, and I love canvas vegan shoes. Then you have your faux suede, which feels almost like a velvety sort of faux suede, um, where the black here and the green is. All of this is made in gold brackets and buckles. And then you have your faux leather, which is golden, my light's not picking it up so beautifully here. But this is gold down here. I just think they're so cute. They're like simple, they're perfect, young, old, whatever, anyone in between. You can wear these and not feel like you're dressing too young or too old for an age. And I love lines of shoes that still stay on point with the trend. And they're still made cute and comfortable. That's kind of the key right now. Comfort. But at any age, you can wear this and dress it to your age and not feel like you're trying to be something that you're not. So, two words of advice, coming from a former dancer with dancer feet. If you have bunions, these are going to need to be stretched. 
they hit right where your bunions are, and despite the fact that they're still super soft and very comfortable, they're going to have to be stretched. I found these very, very easy to stretch, and I feel like these will be almost as leather and suede actually fit where they mold to your feet. The way that they were so easy to, you know, get to fit my feet properly, I do feel that these are going to mold them, mold to my feet beautifully. Next qualm, I have dancer feet. Again, I have very, very high insteps. I have a lot of issues with shoes because my instep is so high um, that I'm on the very last buckle. I've got the skinniest ankles, but my instep is just like intense. So I'm on the very last buckle here, and they fit my feet perfectly. I am saying this, if you have wider feet, you're probably going to run into a small snafu down here. And if you have wide feet with an instep, high instep, you might run into a snafu up here as well. I just want to give you word to the wise because I feel like as much as I may love a shoe, I do want to give you the cons to the shoe as well so that you can have it, you know, you have the, the best and most detailed review. So I think I said these were 120 originally. I got them for two. 29.32, something like that. Um, these are a size 6. They don't make anything smaller than a 6, and they fit me perfectly. I have a teeny little bit of room up here. So I don't want to go on the record and say that these fit true to size. I don't want to say that they run small, but I will say that they fit me very, very well for a 6, and I am a 5.5, and, and usually 6s fit me fairly loosely. So just take caution. Um, I believe there was one review on Amazon where it said it did run true to size. So maybe go off hers. And Amazon's great with returns. It's free returns and free shipping. So no big deal if you have to exchange it. I will say that these are like the last of the last left. So you will want to be a little cautious if you're, you see that there's low stock and you're not sure about sizing. Um, again, I'm not going to say go up or down or stay the same. Just saying that on me and my feet these size 6 fit me pretty perfectly. So what I'm going to do, <coughs> I'm sorry, they're really comfortable <coughs> and they're really padded just as my other Hearts of Darkness shoes are. I'm going to put them on and just do like a little walk a thon for you so you can see them on my feet. Uh, I am really impressed with them. I think I'm having chipping toenail issues so I'm getting them done now, so please just bear with if they're not like that great. But I'm going to put them on, walk around, and um, I'll be back in just a few. Okay, here they are. They're just really simple, really cute on. I just love this green in the back. I think they're going to stretch it to my feet very, very well. Maybe I could go slightly tighter at the ankle now since today I'm feeling like I have more room than I did the other day and I guess that will depend on how high my uh, instep is. But they're super stretchy, super flexible. It's just a shoe that's almost like being barefoot which is something I enjoy about being in the summer. And um, yeah, you should get them. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be, like, cutesy because I don't think this is going to come off super adorable. Man, I think I've got, like, some fat calves in this video. Eee. Ew, I don't like it. Let's focus on my feet, not my calves. Yes. So now that you've seen them on my feet, I hope that you like them. And they do come in another color. I believe it's like a beigey pink. So if leopard and green is a little bold for your liking, there is a more neutral color that's perfect for you. They also have another similar style. It's just a T-strap with like a strap right across the foot. And they have, I believe, a black color and a magenta and red combination. Really pretty shoes. I think they're just about the same price point. I've got to tell you, This is the best. I made my first batch of homemade kombucha. It is like freaking amazing. I added a little bit of juiced strawberry and ginger to the very end. Best 
to a kombucha flavor I have ever tried. And I made it. I think I'm going to go into business making my own kombucha. I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm going to be like a majestic, magical healer of the world with my potion of kombucha. I just needed to share this excite exciting moment in my life because it has been really great for me. Also, I had a bunch of store credit, so I got this really jazzy crop top from Wild Fox from Singer 22 and I just wanted to share that with you too. It's like super cute and cut out. I just love it. I These are really neon in real life. They're just not so neon in the camera because my lips are really neon too and it's just not picking up. Anyway, <clears throat> the shoes. Why I'm doing my video and my ramble ramble. 2932 Cree Decor Hearts of Darkness Collection The Warrior wa Warrior Warrior <laughs> I can't talk today The Warrior Gladiator Sandal Leopard and Emerald color They also come in the beigey pink color Coral I think they believe they call it So Get it now Get it so so crazy awesome Steel priced at Amazon.com. Until next time, follow my blog, Cupcakes, Rings, and Glittery Things.com. <clears throat> oh my god. Instagram me at the Vegan Vixen. Tweet me at Glittery Things underscore. And chumble with me, Cupcakes, Rings, and Glittery Things. I will talk to you later, and hopefully, I have a voice soon. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.